Hello, good day to every one of you out there. This is David Oshin. I want to teach you today on um, Facebook advertisement or advertising. I want to teach you how to run Facebook ads. Do you want to learn how to run Facebook ads? You want to run your ads for your, your business or your fan, you know, like a fan page advert or whatever it is, just listen to this episode and you're going to learn how to create your own business advert on Facebook and how to use Facebook to run ads. As a matter of fact, Facebook is one of the best ways to run ads because the ads are always measurable and you can have the advantage of bringing them to your own fan page. So when you run ads, you know, when they like you know your your post is you can invite them to be a part of your so that subsequently you can also be telling them a lot of things that maybe your, your offers even in terms of business or your app posts that you know ideas that you feel that they may need so you can be able to reach them after that you know advert and also facebook ads is very cheap compared to other forms of advertisement and it's actually very you know measurable like you can always measure the people that you want to reach you know it's something like you can define people based on their interest you can target people that's what they call facebook targeting you can target people that these are people that I want to reach through my advert you know i want to reach people guys i want to reach only guys you can put guys there i want to reach only ladies you can put ladies there i want to reach people who love football you can put football interest there you can streamline it based on interest it depends on what you want so it is a very good platform for advertising uh, your product and your goods and your services and there about the brand. So let's quickly move into what we have for today. So this is my own Facebook page. I created this page in the free class. And like I said, if you don't know how to create a Facebook page, just indicate um, below in the comment section because I, I did this in the free class. You know, I did it in the free class. I taught how to create your own Facebook business page or fan page. So I created this one that day. I created this, this is just an empty page. There is nothing there, no business, nothing. I created it for the purpose of the class. So let me quickly get straight into what we have for today. Now, if you look at this, you will discover that it is empty, right? Okay, it's empty. So there's no cover there. You can add your cover if you want. You can choose from your photos. You can choose from videos. You can upload a photo, you know, from your, from your own um, computer or your gallery. You can also add um, this one also. You can add a photo here also, you know, if you want, you can add something here. Um, you can edit this and add something here also. You can upload a picture here also, like a frame. You can add a frame, you can take a photo, you know, depends on you. So it looks more beautiful and presentable. Like, like my own is dogs are cute. I can have a photo of dogs in this place you know just here and i can have something that indicates my business here so also what i want to talk about you can add a button also add a button means you can you know add a button like a shop like a sign up button for example now i can choose uh to add a page button i can ask you know, to make a booking with you you can add something like this like book now hmm? okay you can add something like contact us contact or send us message sign up so you just put a link there so someone can just sign up with whatever you have send email you can add a whatsapp button to it you can add about learn more about our business you know you can add a watch video button you can add shop with you button download game um download button also like a download an app button so uh whatever business you're doing you have all the facebook has all the functionalities you need to be able to perfectly run your facebook so and but so all of those things are just to help you know when someone comes to your page and sees everything there is able to relate with it like okay oh i want to sign up with these guys i want to know you know i want to know more about what they are doing let me sign up so you can just click on the button and sign up you don't have to go through a lot of stress you now these days facebook and all these social media platforms makes things very easy for people they bring it to a very relatable time a, a place where not like they tell you go to this place and find something no they put all of the links for you to just get things easily all right now i don't have any friend on this page so he's writing zero to ten likes i don't i said tell him to invite my friend so i can invite some of these people um to, to my page and if you like my page you're going to see the likes in this place so it's still writing zero over ten because i've not invited anybody yet 
Now, I don't have any post yet too. So if you're writing to create post, I can create a post, you know, that depends. So, but we are going into advertising. That's our major aim for today. How can we create an advert? Now, I understand that this is a system outlook for this Facebook. So on the phone also, you're going to have the same thing, but it's going to be a smaller version. That means all of these buttons are going to be there. So you're going to see page, you're going to see hard. You know, you're going to see not ad center now on the, on the phone, you just see hearts and you see inbox, you see COVID-19. COVID-19 was added by Facebook themselves for us to, they want to add it to all pages so that people can be able to, you know, sensitize other people about um, the COVID-19 pandemic. So there is what they call the more, yeah, more is talking about the insights, publishing tools and page quality. Now insights talks about, um, you know, I don't have anything that's insight yet, but if I have a post, I've been creating posts, you can be able to see the actions on your page. Oh, are the people taking action on your page? How many page views do you have in seven days? How many page views do you have in one week? How many page views do you have in one month? So you can be able to measure the progress of your page. Am I really reaching people? Am I wasting my time on this page? So you can see how many page likes do I have? How many people are this post reaching? My story, is, if, I, if you create a story on Facebook, how is the story getting to people? How are they getting to the people? You know, recommendations from Facebook, what and what to do, post engagement. Post engagement talks about your likes, your comment, the shares on your page. Then videos talks about, you know, videos also, how people are relating with the videos. Then page followers here talks about, you know, those who are following the page, They're following the page. And, um, we have other things here, like it's still going to tell you total page likes for last week, post for this week, engagement this week, then reactions. Also, it's going to tell you those people who are in your page, like maybe where they are actually commenting from or where they are engaging from. You're going to see based on demographic, that means you're going to see if it is men that come to your page or women, you're going to see the percentage, like if it is more of men or more of women, you're going to see the places they're actually coming from. You're going to see their area, their interests. What are they really liking on your page? So that one can be able to streamline your interest. Like, let me create more of this because it's like people actually love things like this. Let me create more of this kind of posts. And also it helps you to know what people that I'm actually reaching. I'm reaching more of women than men. So I create more feminine content so that I can be able to have more views and be able to have more engagement on my post. All right, so let's quickly run into let's go back to the page where we came from now now if you observe you will see what they call promote here promote also is inside you know your your phone format of the your facebook page so you can just click on promote you see just check the side there you see now there are three things to promote here now you can get started with an automated ads that means you personalize your ads yourself okay you can also promote your page you can get website visitors, you can get more leads. Now, what do we mean by all of these things? Promote your page means that you are promoting the page for likes on your page. You can do that. You can decide to promote your page that more people can like your page so they can come to your page. And from there, you can talk to them about other offers and other things that you have. You can create, you know, an environment that is friendly for them and things like that. You know, you can also get website visitors. Let's say you have a website, you can place your website link on your Facebook page. Get now so that you can from there promote your website from your Facebook page. So you can click on this and promote your website so that people will be coming to your website through your Facebook page. People can be coming to your website. They can get more leads. More leads talks about you getting people to take an action, like maybe sign up a form, you know, get or sign up, whatever it is. Leads are you know, prospect. You are, you are trying to bring people to, to buy your business. You are trying to or buy your product rather. You want to get more leads that will lead them to you know, leads from the world leads, huh? lead them to more to buying or lead them into the purchasing what you have now so let's see um the different can and there's also promote post also um you can promote your post also let's look at this started with them um, automated automated tells you now um, this is from the word automated like it's like a machine that is doing it on your behalf okay so it's not like you're the one arranging it it's like an like an automated process like automated teller machine i hear like a machine that is helping you to arrange your hard part for you now find the right ads for you answer a few questions about your business we suggest the ads to create so 
we have to set up your ads, save time with less maintenance. So the app you do this is an automated process. So you can get started, for example, like this. And then uh, you ask, what do you want to do? I say, I want to be in pet service. They said, okay, they continue. What kind of this thing you want to do? Is it like you want to people to purchase their product in a physical location? You can add your business address. If like you want an online, this is my business address from my online. And I just added that there. Then if you want direct contact, you can, you can click. So you can click on any of these three. Let's say on online alone, I click on that. Then I move on. He asks, what interest do you want to add? Now, the people that actually want to ask customers, what kind of thing do you want them to, you know, what kind of people do you really want to come to your page and buy business from you? I'm sure I would like people who, are, who love dogs, that people who love dogs, you know, dogs, uh, maybe like pets, you know, like a um, car, like a um, pet at home, people who love um, puppies, uh, like dog toys, Card food, dog training, all of those things that you know. I've talked about keywords before. Uh, those that I taught in, um, in class, we talked about keywords in the paid class. We talk about keywords and how these are examples of keywords. These are suggested words. What are suggested words mean? These are words that people have used over time. You know, so because people have used them over time, over time they are suggested. Like, okay, is it this? And because these are the major words people have been using over time. Like, so next now they're asking for the results so they want to get more shoppers to visit your website i want that so i continue next so they ask me they're asking me now to set up create six versions of this ad objective okay so i can do that here i can do that here let me see okay I can add different images. I can add an image here or upload a video, a slideshow. I can add like an image, you know. Just I can just set it up like this. The text, I can write the URL, the button. So I can have an ad like this, you know. I have my picture here, then I have the headline dogs are cute then the text do you need basic items for your dogs kindly visit us today we have all your dogs needs dogs needs oh, that's wrong though. like i think that should be dog needs or something dogs need or dog needs uh -huh, i think that's correct so then this is website and like that, like that, like that. so they're telling me that on a mobile news feed you know on the mobile news feed look like this hmm? do you need basic items for your dogs can you visit us today we have all of your dog needs for elder living okay so on the right see more this how to look like then if you want to see it on on um, instagram feed you can also advertise from facebook to instagram i'm going to talk about that later you can also do it like this you look like this on instagram feed mm? look like this and if you want to see it on your messenger inbox i don't say to boost messenger inbox it look like this and then this is the expanded view of it if you want to look for it if people want to see it in their you know now in their mobile news feed it will be like this if you want to see it in their desktop news feed it will be like this the different way to look like so they have given you different ways i can continue and now say that next all right so i'm choosing people from where Okay. Which takes down to where is it? Do I want a Nigerian audience or I really want people from abroad? Like this is telling me United States. Ah, are people from United States going to really get my goods? I can choose a Nigerian audience. I say people living in here, they ask Nigeria, maybe Kogi or your Ogun. I like, okay, no, 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 no. I don't want that. I really want people from Lagos. Maybe our this this. Okay, Nigerian audience are like, okay, no, 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 no. I want people from current city, maybe. Excuse me, I need people from Lagos, Lagos, Nigeria. Yes, uh huh, uh huh, like Lagos State, Nigeria. There are different Lagos, Lagos in Portugal. You can decide to even add more locations, 
like maybe people from Ikeja, people from Dokmemu, uh -huh, like that. Shake it. Every time you shake it. Okay, so you can you can move on like that. Uh huh. From Ikeja, Lagos. Those are people I want rich people. Or people from Lekki. Uh, I can say from Lekki, Banana Island, they're the ones that can buy online. No, 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 I choose the wrong place, sorry. Like, no, this is not Lekki. You know, I can choose maybe Lekki, or if it's going to be there, then demographic so, the interest, people who like dogs, I can just choose anything I want. You are at liberty to choose what you want. Then you save it. I didn't save it, that's why I didn't move on. So, next. So they will tell me now, your plans have errors, misinformation. Yes, I know. I didn't complete some stuff. Okay. So they are telling me that you choose my daily budget. How much do I want to spend in a day? They want to spend 697 naira, 995 naira, 4795 naira, or I choose my own budget. I can choose my budget. I can say, I want to spend, um, according to what my pocket is saying, I want to spend 500 naira a day. I can choose that. So they will tell me the number of people that will click it in a day. Yeah. So, or I can choose, I have a, I'm a big boy. I can choose this. Uh, it depends. It depends. So you know, that's how you run it. So they want to review some stuff like this. What do they want to review now? There are some errors that they saw there. So I have to go and review these errors. I know that my page is not complete yet, so I understand that there can be some errors. So that's for that's for the um, promoting through automated process. Now let me see the other kinds of promote that can promote also. I can promote my page. How do I promote my page? I click on promote page. Okay, then. I can also do that also. I can do a single image, upload a video. You know, I can, it depends on what I want to do. I can browse the library for images. You know, selected images are here. So these are my images. I can decide to choose anyone. I can just pick something like this and then continue. Okay. 720 by 396. Okay, why is it going back now? Okay, let me go back again. So, I'm promoting the page now. All right. So, I'm browsing to see a picture let me pick one of these anyone i can just pick um i can pick this anyone okay so you can see it here look at it do you need oh this one doesn't represent dog self i don't have a dog image i can browse for a dog image anyway i can just browse for maybe dog image but you're not, you're not supposed to use just any random image because you know some of them look at them they're already having this knowledge so i can just look for one like this and then probably just download or save or something like that and use it but if these things have copyrights please don't use it too so um let me continue then I can decide to just promote. I can promote my page. So look at it here. By clicking promote, you agree to Facebook terms and conditions. Uh -huh. So if I click promote, I'm telling them to remove the money from my account. So let me not do that. Let me cancel that. I'm just showing you how to do it. So. Now you you still want to promote again. Maybe you want to promote uh, to get more leads. Also, you can do this. Also, you can get more leads. Get more leads here. You can create a form. You can ask them to you know ask for their email, their phone number, or their full name. You know, or you customize the text form. 
something like that. Yeah, look at this text from now. Let's look at it. Let me, let me click here. Okay, so confirm the details you like to share with us, your email, your full name. People do this for reasons. When they get your email, your contact, they, they so they can send you messages later and then probably do business with you later. You're a prospect to them. Okay. All right. I don't know why the network is doing like this today. So, I've not filled anything, so maybe that's why it's not going. So, um, I'm closing this also. I'm closing this. Cancel hard. So, now the, the next one I want to tell you about is how to promote a post. Now, I need to create a post before I can promote a post. So, let me see how creating a post will look like. So to create the post, I just write somewhere around here. Okay, now. Um, how to advertise on Facebook. And add a photo to it. Okay. Um, I don't have too many. I can just put something like this is WordPress. <laughs> Doesn't look contradictory now. So anyway, I can just do that and just post. Okay, so if I do that and post, I will have my first post. So let me go straight. So this is my first post. And what that is on Facebook, then you see WordPress here. Okay. So if you want to actually boost a post, like we do a boost post so i will just click on this place boost post then it will ask me what do i want to do so we require the ads featuring facebook or instagram brand to follow specific brand guidelines now they may not want to post this one for me because wordpress is you know a brand so if i'm to post about wordpress it means that i can't use the brand wordpress because is they can't just allow you to, that's what people make mistakes. They can't allow you to post things with this kind of photo. You have to use a natural, normal photo uh -huh, to post. So not, not a WordPress, like a, a photo that is already you know, a brand. So you can choose your button you want. What kind of button do you want them to reach you with? Do you want them to maybe uh, sign up with a form or you want them to send you a WhatsApp message, right? Send a WhatsApp message. Then you actually put the number there later. So you run down or you can tell them to send you a message to your inbox, Facebook inbox. Okay. So these are the messages. This has to look like it to look like this. Out of the on Facebook, then to look like this. Then you can see it on phone, on mobile news feed, it will look like this. Okay. On Instagram or something like that. Facebook in streams video look like on mobile it look like this it has different outlooks for different um places it, it's on so once you are done you just write boost and when you boost you start removing money from your account straight away so another question people want to ask is how do i set up my account how do i set up my account okay let me go straight into that settings okay now
you really need to go, you need to go to, um, not the setting really, I mean, you need to go to the ad center. It depends on where it is for people using um, Facebook, maybe Facebook Lite or Facebook on their phone. Then you just need to go to your ads manager yeah, on these places like the ad center. So when I visit my ads center, um, let me open this just taking time. It's taking time to load. Okay. For those people using phone on Facebook, I probably might do another one for you guys so that you can be able to follow me squarely because I know it's my be looking a little bit different. But for people using systems, it's going to be very cool for you uh, like this. Please don't mind my network off. happens just sometimes like that. So let me go back to the page here. Here's the page. All right, so this is um, the ad center. Let me see this one or this one. Let me see. Let me see this one. Okay, so it has opened. So it's giving me advertising summary. Yeah, I've not spent anything yet. So if I have spent any amount, it will tell me here. Now this is rich. Now I have reached if the post engagement. Engagement means they like, the share, the comments, or the links. Maybe if I have clicked through the links or something like that. So it's telling me I can also create an ad from this place here in the ad center. I can create it from here or I can create it in place of promote anyone. So, but look at this place here. This is where they call the payment settings. Now, payment settings is here. Let me take a moment. All right, so this is my own payment settings now. You can set up your own also. Okay. You also get a bill. What is this? Next bill. Oh, for what I want to promote, Abby. Um, I'm not doing it again. <laughs> Don't worry. Huh? So this is probably this is my own, you know, payment card. So you can add your payment method, like you can add your own, then um get about. You can do that. Okay, so that's that about that. That's the payment. I'm not paying anything. Don't worry. Hmm? I'm not paying anything. Thank you. So that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. So you can add, you can remove. Depends. So yeah, you've seen that now. I think that's all you need to see for this. Um, that's how to advertise on Facebook. So note that you can also advertise on Instagram through Facebook. I'm gonna show that. So for those who are not using Facebook on system, probably I'll just have to do another video for you guys to show you how to do it on a phone, like a normal phone. Okay, so till then, God bless you all. Bye. Okay, so have a nice time.